Hi, I'm Kim. Choosing your rulers when you're starting out in patchwork and quilting can be really confusing, I know. There are so many on the market and where on earth do you start? So let me tell you what my first three rulers are that I recommend that you get uh, for when you're starting out with patchwork and quilting. So the very first ruler that you need to get is a 24 and a half inch by six and a half inch ruler. And this is the size of that particular ruler there. Sorry, my light is reflecting in the in the in the perspex here. So some brands uh, have their rulers at 24 by six inches. That is completely fine. And the reason why I suggest this first is because it is versatile and you can cut your strips um, from you know to a small strips up to six six and a half inches. Um, and then you can suck up those down into the smaller squares and rectangles and whatever it is that you're making um, when you are doing patchwork and quilting for the first time. This is still my go-to ruler. This is still the mainstay ruler that I use for all of my quilting um, over a decade later. So 24 and a half inch by six and a half inch or 24 inch by six inch, this long oblong ruler is the one that you need to start with. And then as you start developing your patchwork skills and you start making some stuff, there's going to be a point, not right at the beginning, but there's going to be a point where you will want to do something called squaring up a block or squaring up your quilt. Um, you might also be making a quilt as you go quilt, in which case you would definitely need to be squaring up blocks. And if you need to square up your blocks, then you're going to need something to square those up with. So you're going to need a square ruler. So this big one here, which is a 16 and a half inch square ruler. Can you see that? It's quite a big one. Yes, um, it is expensive. Yes, to start with, but it will last you a lifetime. Unless you're like me. <laughs> Can you see there? I drop that. <laughs> on the floor going to a quilt class many many years ago and it's never quite recovered but it still works as a ruler so going for this large 16 and a half inch ruler and you'll find um for that size of ruler that's the size of a lot of the quilt as you go blocks to join those up together to make a sampler quilt so getting these big square rulers um will really help you to square out your blocks and obviously you can square up smaller sizes with this size but it it's very frustrating if you get a smaller square and you need to square up a larger block you just can't do it whereas with a larger block you can obviously go smaller so that's the square one so that's the second ruler i would get you won't need that from from day one but you will need it fairly early on and then the third ruler i'd recommend um is to get a little ruler <laughs> like this one isn't it cute so this one is um it's four and a half inches by twelve and a half inches so not quite half the size of my big long one, but it's just easier to handle when I'm cutting small pieces, um, small rectangles, small squares and so on. It's just more manageable um, to, to use. So that will be my third one to get. There are definitely others you can go and get. And there are, uh, <laughs> behind my camera here, I've got all sorts of sizes which I've collected over the years. But those are the three that I go back to over and over again. So I hope that's helped. If you've loved this video and it's been helpful to you, please do like it. And I'd love it if you would consider subscribing because then that helps the video go out to more people who are looking for the help just like you are. So I hope that's been helpful and I will see you in the next video. See you soon. Bye for now.